Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I thought we'd take a closer look at the Microsoft Surface. You can see here's the main lock screen. This is one of the wallpapers I've picked. It gives you a couple different things as far as information goes. We have Wi-Fi signal, battery, some messages. This could be from Facebook or a couple other places. Time, obviously, and date. If I slide it up, we're presented with the home screen. This is the start screen now. There is no more start button. And I thought I'd just do a general overview of how you use this. This is basically the same as Windows 8 as far as the way it works, although it is not Windows 8, and that it won't run other versions of Windows programs. That's because it runs on an ARM architecture, which is not x86 based, or basically it's not based on the same sort of processor architecture that runs everything else, meaning your old Windows programs. So you can see we can move side to side. Now you can do this with a mouse by scrolling up and down. If you have the keyboard dock attached to the surface or you have Windows 8, it's going to be the same. This moves side to side. If we want to move something around, we tap and pull down and we can move it around. I can move it over here, move it over here. I have a couple options if I tap and drag down. You can see I'll do that again. We can make it larger, smaller, and you can do that for most tiles. Not every tile actually supports that. If you want to see everything here, we can pinch out. We can move these whole groups around. We can name them. I'm not going to go too much into that. What I wanted to show you is how you use this. Now, most people that I hand this tablet to don't really understand how you use it. Once you open an application, they don't know how to get back. Let's open Internet Explorer. We'll go to Zolotech. go to my own website I'm not sure what this oh I was looking at a tycoon game a game dev tycoon game pretty fun game that's on here you can see here's my website Zolotech it's loading just like an iPad or another tablet you can pinch to zoom now the way Windows is is set up on this version Windows 8 and Windows RT everything is swiped from the side or swiped from top to bottom if I want to close an application, I swipe from top to bottom. That means I reach outside and swipe down. I can open it back up here. Now, if I want to get to my options, we have a couple different ways to do that. Swipe up. You can see there's extra tabs. We can add a tab. We also have new in private tab. And then you can see we can pin it to our start screen. We can go to our options here for find on page, view on desktop then the main settings are on the side. So everything is pretty consistent in this UI. So you have these options on the bottom. Now there are more options. If you swipe from the side, you can go back to start. Again, swipe from the side, hit it again, we go right back. Now settings are the same in every app. This looks like it may be the same thing, but it's not. We have internet options. If I go out of this application and I go into the calendar, wait for it to load, swipe in from the side, hit settings. Now we have the settings for the calendar. If I go back to start, go to Internet Explorer, swipe in. Now I have the settings for Internet Explorer. Even though it looks the same, it's not the same. And this goes for all of the different things. We have search, share, start, devices, settings. In each application, it's potentially different. It just depends how you have this set up a little bit and which application you're actually in. So let's go back to Internet Explorer. Again, swipe top to bottom. Now, if we just swipe in quick, it's one thing. If we type, if we put our finger up here, not type, but pull down, it closes the application. Or I can let it go back. So I can pull down, close it, go back and open it. That's how everything is pretty universal that way. Now, if we swipe from the left, we get something different. Swipe fast, we get the last application. Swipe slow and back. We get the application lists that are running. Or we can swipe in a little bit and run both at once. We also have the ability to slide that using this bar and resize things. So this comes in handy if you're watching a video on YouTube on the browser here and you want to browse another page here. You can keep the video running here and use the web browser here. Now, if you want to use the keyboard a little bit differently, we can do that also. Pick up the tablet. I want to use the keyboard in split mode. Hit this little tablet or this little keyboard button and it splits the keyboard. We also can use a pen mode. 
or nothing at all, and it kind of shrinks everything. So it's 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 pretty neat that we can uh, use all these different ways to type on it, depending on how we're holding the tablet. Swipe in again, go back. So you see it's pretty universal throughout everything. That's the basic overview of how you use it. If you want to uninstall an application, drag down. You also have the uninstall option on each one of these. So that's basically how you use this. Now, if you wanted to restart it, you can do that by swiping into the side, go to settings, power, and then sleep shutdown or restart. The idea is they want you to keep this on all the time. So you don't really need to shut it down. It will go to sleep and that shouldn't really be a problem for most people. If you have any questions or comments about this, please place those in the comments below. Maybe if you have any tips for people, you've been using one for a while, please place those in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.